Right at this juncture, as Saralan eases us into the 13th series of the show with a reliably labored gag about Brexit, it's important to state that it's not always the biggest twat who gets voted off each week. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, we're sorry to inform you. But for this week, oh lord, for this week, an absolute idiot was indeed the one voted off. But first a little rundown with some early thoughts. The girls' team was pretty good WASNT it despite being named after a pencil at least they didnt go for Victoria's Secret, Christ Alive, they did everything pretty well. Solid meat choice chicken and beef, solid location choice canary wharf for the hot stuff, so ho for the cold stuff, some quality shouting over each other during a sales pitch, a bit of hounding innocent members of the public at West India Key, and an epic moment where one of them just shouted B-U-U-R-R-R-G-G-E-E-R-R-R-S-S-S-S into the night, like a wolf howling at the moon. Honorable twat mentions for the girls should go to Siobhan Superwoman apparently and Elizabeth the first have size 10 feet and they kick butt who, individually, are already a nightmare but together, are an absolute joy to watch given that they clearly despise each other. Let's hope they're kept on the same team for all our sakis. Meanwhile Jade, despite a quiet episode, performed an absolutely brutal and it turned out, wholly unnecessary calling out of Elizabeth in the boardroom. She won't forget that Jade, you should sleep with one eye open. The boys though. Oh god the boys. What an absolute shambles. Although, given this episode went in the wake of Theresa May's conference speech, somehow not the biggest shambles of the day. Even at this early point, there are clearly so many ultra-confident yet totally useless men on the show that I'm quietly confident about this series being a good one. Where to start completely missing lunchtime when you're selling burgers is a good one. Absolutely classic. Getting the labels wrong and then on a supposedly premium product scrubbing out the organic bit with a bureau is another. But Danny, you can have no complaints about getting fired. An utterly astounding amount of wrong decisions from calling the team vitality, like a dog biscuit to suggesting selling £9 burgers maybe at the O2 mate, not in the real world channeling Richard Keyes and Andy Gray by announcing we're gonna absolutely smash the girls, to showing absolutely zero leadership or business news and then being talked out of his decision to take Harrison into the final three. Truly, in a week where you really have to try hard to stand out, given that there's 18 of you, Danny pulled it off with a plum. Halfway through, the Twat of the Week award was his. But then redemption.